we go, guys. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, and What's going on, fam? Dr. Nate here for Skill Media, co-founder of Skill Success Summit. Everybody showed up right here in person in Atlanta, Georgia. Man, it was phenomenal. What's going on, folks? Justin Schaefer here, also known as Mr. Fascinate. I'm the co-founder and head of fundraising for the STEM Success Summit. But there is no organization that brings culture, relevance, engagement, fun, good vibes, all together in the same way that the STEM Success Summit does. It's so amazing to connect with other STEM professionals so that we can continue to change the world for STEM. I'm Cantor Simmons, the coolest guy with 7.25 fingers. Talk to you soon. Hey, Sister Scientist here, checking in for STEM Media here in the A. But when I get to spend this type of time with people who understand me and understand the journey, it's so valuable. This is the fourth year where we took a step forward and we brought together an intimate group of VIP only attendees. Here we are in person. It's not just a double tap, but you can actually feel someone's energy. You can actually see them. You can actually touch them. You can actually send love and exchange just good vibes with one another. We know that it was great online and we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that those who came here were in person, they enjoyed it. I think sometimes you always think of STEM as those that are like super hardcore into like the physical sciences. But if you're just really intrigued or just like to be around people that just like to continue to learn and be curious, people that love to be be inquisitive as well. Like we are here, we have a community, and that's what the whole point of the STEM Media Network is all about. And then what I did early on was find some problems. A lot of people like to talk about the solution. Let's talk about what you're building. It's super sexy to kind of own and run a startup, um, but the key piece was finding some problems. We're again a platform to connect uh, those people who own things with the people um, that need things. And even along the way, found some people to give us some money to do it. So raised uh, a little over $2.3 million. I had never seen money like that before in my life. The ability to see things not as what they are today, but what they're gonna be into the future. And then get there before everybody else, make your stand, position yourself, and get all the eggs or the money or whatever you're gonna get before everybody else is able to catch on. And that's the way I've made my money over my years. In crypto tech and other things, I've been able to do that, right? What is our goal? Our goal is cash flow. In personal finance, we're taught to save, save, save. Don't pay this fee, don't pay that fee. But in real estate and in business, you're making so much more money than these fees. You have to be focused on making the money. But what I started to realize was that I had a little something different than most of the people in the lab. And it wasn't just hair. Every other person in my lab was a male. He did not have hair. He was not black. And here we are making hair products specifically for black women. It was great. It was filled with so much from being on the main stage speaking to being in the virtual. This was a great experience, great time. We learned so much from each other. So much value was exchanged back and forth. And I'm so excited and can't wait for this to be over, but also for next year as well. Pretty anybody had anything to do with it. Everybody that simply liked the retweet. They just shared it in their story or commented below a post about this summit. Thank you to all of you all. It's been impossible without you. We're gonna do this like a hundred times over. We're gonna continue to elevate and empower our professionals in these fields. And not only that, help them to be able to elevate when it comes to building wealth for themselves and their family.